Hey, welcome to a new video. Uh, I thought to myself last night that I did the first part. Should I record this or not? Because it's already been done, but not in this scale. So, my final conclusion was that I'm going to do it all in one video and not with the full doing of it, but just to show you the main parts of how I do it how I prepare the walls for the insulation and so on. So the first step is patch up the bigger holes. As you can see there are holes. The first part is already patched, the second part isn't. Uh, what I'm doing right now is to mitigate the uh, needed uh, uh, material on the next step. Uh, so I'm putting down concrete into the bigger holes uh, that will minimize just the next part it's not really necessary it will give the structure more stability in the long run but it's not really necessary but it's not all so hard half of the uh, doing half of the house uh, last night after work took me around maybe three hours four hours so today I'm going to end it and pff, I think in 2-3 hours I'm done and uh, I can start with the next step. So, now to show you a little bit sneak peek of what I'm doing. So, on to part uh, two of my wall assembly. Uh, now I'm taking down the last year's uh, foam, that uh, spray foam I put there, so that the rain doesn't get in. Uh, and anything that's in the holes will be left. Uh, everything other that the sun is already eaten up will be taken down. And then we can head, head on to part three. And the concrete is almost cured, so the weather is quite nice. It's uh, almost 20 degrees outside, no wind at the moment, so perfect time for a build. Now for a slow mo or fast forward on the next part. So, welcome to part 3. I hope that the sun isn't uh, in the way of the lens, but now I'm adding the last part for the wall assembly. That's uh, putting down, uh, how do you say it, uh, uh, bitumen, uh, some kind of uh, liquid. That The point is really that it's going to uh, make it uh, waterproof. Uh, windproof and uh, airtight. Or at least give me some more chance to make some mistakes in the long run. Uh, the first part that I did, uh, the mid wall, worked fine because uh, I have uh, gypsum on the other side already uh, painted and it works like a charm. It's raining, no problem. The uh, uh, rain, uh, water doesn't get uh, inside. So, it's a win-win. Uh, I already know that I'm running out, so this time I'm going to make it from a different angle. So, welcome to part 3 of my build. It started the insulation. As you can see, I already put down first, second layer and now the, for the dirt. What I wanted to show you 
This is for the first layer compared to a Makita. This is the second layer compared to a Makita. And this is the third compared to a Makita. So, as you can see, this is the standard insulation. This is a good insulation. And also, oh, this is uh, needed for a passive house. And this is my insulation. Uh, as you can see, the screws are all really, really long. And they have a mounted second insulation part on the end uh, for installing it. Those are hammered in the first two and this is screwed in because we can't hammer the uh, so long uh, uh, fiber uh, nails in. And as I only have so many left from the long ones, I ordered new ones but they will arrive from Germany uh, in the next week. So I can do only a little bit but I wanted to show you. Uh, also, uh, also, it's important, uh, those are in different ways, so the heat gets trapped, everything is foamed in, so almost no caps uh, where air can move is available. Afterwards, I'm going to do the uh, fourth one, where I'm going to add uh, this kind of adhesive on top of the joints, so there's no way air can leak in or out. Moisture will uh, penetrate uh, through this because it's uh, EPS foam and it breathes. It breathes a really tiny amount but enough for the walls to breathe. This isn't XPS foam. On the roof uh, the last layer will be EPS uh, for the waterproofing as, and as it will be left over the winter uh, because I need to build a second roof on top of it uh, but that's in the next year because I don't think I'm going to manage putting down the windows, the doors, uh, making everything air sealed <laughs> and uh, taking, uh, making it alone and doing the electricity, waterworks Oh, I have so many projects on my hands this summer, so yeah. But now, off to show you how I put down the boards. So, I used on the edges because uh, so the wind doesn't uh, move those boards until I got get, I can get the second uh, frame on top one nail here uh, the main boards that will be on the wall will have only one in the middle that will hold them uh, in place until I can get the last parts done but yeah that's it this will be cut off later and not that hard so, have fun, stay safe, don't get COVID. If you have any questions about the insulation, ah, oh, yeah. Later, this will be also insulated because here will go a uh, yeah, uh, XPS board uh, on top, two layers, and also on the top. This will mitigate the uh, uh, cold part here, so there will no, not be any cold parts. As you can as, uh, remember from my previous video, here is a concrete, here is concrete, but in the meat uh, sandwich between them is uh, XPS foam, so there isn't any way gold can get in. The weakest parts in this building are the windows, garage door, and the main door. So if I would rate them by category, the weakest part is the carriage door, also from Germany. Then the next ones are the front and the back door, and the dirt is the windows. 
everything's ordered from uh, uh, Germany because uh, they don't produce any good products here or any products that are reasonably priced it was cheaper to buy the windows and the doors and the car store and uh, the anchors from Germany than to buy from here so yeah so stay safe stay happy don't get covered and have fun see you next time